Hello and welcome to Things to Know. If, like me, you've ever had any problems connecting a set of Bose headphones to a Windows 10 laptop or PC, then keep watching this video because we're going to get that problem sorted out right now over the next few minutes. When I was trying to connect these, I was so frustrated and it took longer than it ever needed to. And to be honest, I was starting to wish I'd never even bought them, but now I've got them going, they are really good. OK, let's get started. First of all, in Windows 10, we go down into the bottom search box and write in Bluetooth. And the next thing we need to select is the option at the top, Bluetooth and other devices settings. And when the next window appears, we need to click on the top option again, add Bluetooth or other device. This then brings up this selection of three options. In this case, we need to select the top option, Bluetooth. And this now takes us to the area that lists what Bluetooth devices are found within range. So what this is trying to do, of course, is find my headphones. But you can see there's no Bose headphones listed here. But of course, we've got our button here on the side of the headphones, which we flick over onto the on position. But this is where I was going wrong. I was just flicking it on and expecting it to work. And that's because when I simply turned them on like this, there was a listing for Bose headphones. So they were detected by the computer. And this is what made me think that this was the right selection to make. This was the mistake. In fact, at this point, the headphones are still not correctly paired to the computer. What you need to do is push the headphone switch right across until it stops and then hold it there for a few moments. And when you do this, you'll hear this message through the headphones. Ready to connect another device. Then the Bluetooth detection screen will show this. There we are. Instead of selecting this one, which is incorrect, this is the correct one. The one here with the headphones next to it, not the one beginning with LE. So we click on this one and you can see it says connecting. So the headphones gave an update there saying they were now connected. And there we can see it says connected voice music. Then we can go down and select done. And it's now showing in the middle that we connected to the Bose headphones. It even shows how much battery charge life is still left in them. And so we know now that it's all sorted. But let's just give them a quick test to see. Select a video and as we bring the headphones closer to the mic we should be able to hear them. So that goes to show just how important oxygen. So there we go, they're working great. And at that, I want to thank you so much for watching this video. And if you have benefited from it, then please do consider giving me a like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.